Hey guys, if you are watching the recording, you'll know because it says recorded live at the top. And in the meantime, we're going to give people a few minutes to jump on, maybe two or three minutes, and we'll dig right into it. So if you are watching the recording, you'll just want to fast forward a couple minutes. Uh, for those of you who are jumping on, please say hello. Let us know you're here. Post in the comment box. Um, let us know where you're watching from. I'm going to pull it up up here. Yeah, that might be better. So there's a little bit of a delay on the mobile commenting, so we're going to pull you up on our on our desktop, our laptop as well. Can, we, can you get something to prop it up? As you guys come on, just Thanks. say hi. What do you? What, hi guys, this? Nancy McAllister, Danny Elo. Oh no! Hi guys. Now the pressure's on. Oh boy, Angela Maresca, what? The legends are all joining. Hey guys. I feel like Tatiana, this is a, welcome. I feel like it's a setup. <laughs> Who's having an amazing weekend? What an honor it is to be on live tonight in this group. Thank you guys for having us. So we're just going to give it a minute or two before we get started. As you guys start to come on, saying hello and all those things, what are you guys learning so far during this rock and roll executive campaign um, that, that David and Angelique Nori have so generously put together along with some of the other trainers? It's just been a, a, a magnanimous, would be the best word, uh, collaboration. I, I did okay on my SATs. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> just sounded right. Um, but what are you guys learning so far? What have been some of your big takeaways? Who's getting results because of the because of the information you've applied thus far? We'd love to we'd love to hear from you guys, and I know that um, some of the other trainers would love to get feedback, knowing that you guys are getting results implementing some of the things that they've been sharing, whether it be from you know Tanya and Jeremy or Kathy Coover, of course, the legend, or Del Rey. You know, so many incredible people are are pouring into you guys with this with this whole thing. So. What are you guys learning so far? What's what's happening for you and your businesses? Who's loving it? You know, let us know. So what's many going of our on? friends are watching. This is so fun. I'm I'm a little bit nervous because Hi Kim Murgatroyd. Oh, Kim's on. Kim gave me a workout today for my glutes, and let's just say I can barely walk. So thanks, Kim. <laughs> what's up, Dave? What's up, Sam? Hey David. Hi guys. So we're just gonna get started here in just a minute. We'll give it to 632 our time. Hi, Bethany, Ron, Ron from Toronto. It's late in Toronto. Is it? Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy, our good friend. Hi, everyone. I wish we could see your faces. And Dewey in the Twin Cities. I always wonder that when I'm watching other people's Facebook lives. I'm like, can they see? Oh, no, they can't see me. You enrolled two people last week and talked to two people That's daily because of awesome. Kathy's call. Congratulations, Nicoletta. Cool. Angela says she's... She, learning how important it is to put the pedal to the metal. Somehow I don't feel like that's something you have a challenge with. Um... Let's see, three enrollments in one this week alone from Rhonda. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Congratulations. All right, cool. Okay. So, do you want to give it one more minute? One more minute. We're gonna. We'll it. start in two. A we'll lot start. of people on. Hi, oh, this everyone. Is this, this is amazing. This is so incredible. Fun. Are you guys so excited for celebration? Hi, Lindsay. It says, have fun on your vacay. Where are we going? We had a staycation. We just did a little staycation. Yeah. And we're going... We're going to corporate next, this week. And then week, BAMF. And then BAMF. Yep. And then right. we go to Europe. Speaking of Ford for them, says Rob. She learned that from the Kirkpatrick's. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Speaking of Ford into existence for people. That's huge. Learning that there is no missed opportunity. You can always follow up and pick up the conversation again. Absolutely. Yep. These are great. I love Brian these. Brian says, can't expect people to believe unless you believe and have conviction, like Kathy Cooper says. David Norrie says he just learned what magnanimous meant. Thank you. David. I was just going to say what Kathy Coover always says. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. When you believe you become believable. He That's right. Off. That's okay. Go ahead. For those of you that are watching this, a couple, uh, hopefully you'll learn what to do and what not to do, fellas. Don't interrupt your wife. It feels warm in here. Do you want to? All right. No. Uh, really quickly, David, Nori, I just want to make sure that you approve of Eden's headline for this. Do you want an encore? Do you want more? Just a little reference to Jay-Z. And our dogs are extremely maybe, excited about maybe this. Maybe let's close the doors. All right. Go outside, guys. in and out. Go outside, Let's start this bad boy. Come on, George. Come on. George. Oh, hot breath on my feet. That All is right. gross. Let's, this is real life happening here, folks. All right, we're going to get started in just one minute. Let's close that door also because they're just going to run in on the other side. Go outside. Go, 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 go. Go on. Hey, Kim. All right, guys. AJ. Uh, we're excited to see you. We're excited to dig into this content. Talking about they share. Talking about creating consultants. How many of you guys would love to learn how to effectively and regularly create many consultants in your business? How many of you guys would love to learn that on tonight's call? Just go ahead and post in the chat box if that's something you're interested in. If not, 
stay anyway. <laughs> Hang out with us. All right, let's get right to it. All right, let's do this. So, I'm gonna close this because I find it distracting. No, and I don't think there's a delay. I think there's a little bit of a delay. Well, I'm frozen here, so it oh, can't be that good. Sure. Okay. Good point. All right, so Carrie's <laughs> excited. People are excited to learn how to create consultants, obviously. So now here's the next question. Here's the next question. And we want you to answer, what about me, Aunt Angela? Thanks, Angela. God, I, I mean, it's true. Okay, you, come on. All right. All right. The, the, the question we want to ask you is, why do you want to create consultants? What are, what's the real answer for you? What's the point? Why do you want to create consultants? So please answer honestly, because what we've learned in life, not just in business, is that the more willing we're, the more we're willing to be honest with ourselves about what our intentions are or what we're doing, the more likely we can transform whatever area of our life it is that we want to. So why do you want to create consultants? Karen says more consultants, let's all eat for free. So showing people how to get the company to cover the cost of their products. Cool. It's awesome, it's a good reason. Sam says eat for free, what are the other reasons? Thanks, Angela. All right, we're working on a bit of a delay. So, so Dory, Dory so you wanna move forward, sorry. Yeah, you ahead. wanna move forward with your business goals. That's why you wanna create consultants, okay. Uh, Deb, to retire your husband, grow your business. Karen says for retention. Retention. Okay. If you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want, okay? So you can help them get their products paid for, so we can all make money, them and you, to help people get their products paid for, to show others what's possible, okay? Now, I love all of you for giving these very um, politically correct, very loving answers. And I'm wondering why none of you are admitting to why you're actually trying to create consultants. What's the real reason? What's the name of this group? Rock and roll two. Executive. Let's just be honest about it. Here's just a big look in the mirror. For those of you guys that know Eden and I, we're no holds barred. We care enough about you to be honest with you. And we want you to care enough about yourself to be honest with you as well. One of the biggest things that prevents people from creating consultants is the energy that they carry around why they wanna create consultants. Let's just be real about it. Most people are looking to create consultants for their own reasons. They wanna go executive. They wanna get in the bonus pools. They want better retention in their company. They wanna grow their business, right? That's the biggest reason that most people are actually stuck when it comes to creating consultants. And the truth is, yes, helping people get their products paid for is a nice thing. Helping people eat for free is a nice thing. But the minute you become more outwardly focused on really helping people, really helping people do more than just get their products paid for. The minute you're able to paint a slightly clearer and bigger vision of what comes with this opportunity, that's when you're gonna start to create consultants. That's when you're gonna start to create managers. That's when you're gonna start to create directors. And that's when you're gonna go executive. So what you're saying is that when people really feel that you're acting out of service and desire to serve and support them and their goals, that the energy is felt by them so they don't feel that it's about you wanting to achieve your goals and it's actually about you wanting to help them achieve theirs. Now, how do we know that this is, how do we know that we might be stuck and someone won't share? Because how many of you guys have people in your organization, you've gotten customers started and it's, they've had these amazing results They've had these amazing results, and for the life of you, you just don't get it. Why won't they share? I keep telling them they should post on Facebook. I keep telling them they should tell their mom, their sister, their brother, and their cousin, but they just won't do it, and I just don't get it because I have these amazing results. How come they won't share, guys? How come they won't share? How many of you guys have people like that in your organization? You can think of them right now. They've had these amazing results, and they, and, they're, and they struggle financially, and they hate their jobs, and they can't stand their boss, and they complain about it all publicly on Facebook. What they won't do, though, they won't share isogenics. And for the life of you, you can't understand why. 
Why? Why keep this to yourself? They're closet users. And for the life, we just can't figure it out. And the reason that they're not sharing is twofold. One, they don't understand why they should share in the first place. And we're going to come around to tangible skills that you can put into place tonight. We're going to give you actual language. Tonight, that you can change. And the other reason is because you're doing it for you. You're doing it for you. And they know that. They know you're trying to get something off of them. And it's not co-creative. And it's not collaborative. So what we want to share with you tonight is our bread and butter. It's very specific language that's going to give you some very clear insight into how to create consultants on purpose, whether day one, week one, or within the first month to three months, no matter what. We're also going to teach you how to use some language so that no one ever feels blindsided by the fact that all of a sudden there's this opportunity and, oh, it's really just one of those things. That's the only reason you ever wanted me to get started so I could work underneath you. So let's just dispel the myths. Let's get through some of the garbage. Let's get our heads on right. Let's remember what this is all about. And let's get you guys into some specific languaging. Because languaging is everything. So let's do it. Go ahead. Okay. So the most important thing that we've found in introducing people to the opportunity is to do it up front. It's to do it in the very first conversation when you're getting them started. In the first conversation where you're learning more about their goals, you're identifying their need, you're sharing some stories, you're making a recommendation for how they can get started. It's in that very first conversation that it is of utmost importance to plant the seed in their minds of what is available here for them with they share. Now, a couple, there are people that are, um, excuse me, let me back up. You may be speaking with prospects in a couple of different capacities. One might be that you're reaching out to them, asking them in a very upfront way to take a look at the business opportunity. And that's amazing. If you're doing that and you're really, really developing the skills to, uh, to become a professional network marketer in a way that is, um, that is sustainable long term to really, really, really develop those skills, that's incredible. So when you're having those conversations about the opportunity and about what is really available for them and why they're excited, Excited. It's a very natural progression of the conversation, but what happens when you reach out to somebody because you know that they'll love the products or they reach out to you because they they see that you are sharing some incredible results and transformations on Facebook. What happens then? How can we transition from having a product focused conversation to in that same conversation share with them the opportunity in a way that feels very um, feels very natural, very organic, it doesn't feel forced, and it doesn't sound like, oh, hey, and by the way, if you tell some people, you know, the company's gonna send you a check. Meaning, it doesn't feel like we're hiding behind the products. We're being very upfront, letting them know the full spectrum of what's available so that they know immediately they already start thinking about who would love these products and they will more quickly and easily share it because here's what we know. We know that if you wait, that if you hope that they get started on the products, have an amazing result and just organically share it with people, we know that nine times out of 10, that's not gonna happen. Not to mention that if you call them 30 days later, 10 days later and you say, hey, you're feeling so great, hey, by the way, you know, Isagenix has this amazing referral program and if you share with two people, you can make up to $370 back, how great is that? Unless it is part of the initial conversation, it is nowhere near as effective so it's very, very important that we that we include language. And, and Zach and I, and, and we teach, we train this all the time within um, with inside of our organization. It's in that very first conversation when they're getting started on the products that we're using some very specific language to plant that seed. Would you guys like to know what that language is? Now, all the meanwhile, before we give you this language, what we also want you to pay very close attention to is we're going to help you understand how the language also helps you to qualify the type of person that you're speaking with. So you're gonna find out very quickly with what we teach you, you're gonna find out very quickly that this person, your prospect, is gonna fall into one of three categories. They're either gonna fall into being just a customer, which is fantastic, we love our customers. The customers are our bread and butter. Customers are what makes Isogenix such a special company. The second type of person that they might reveal themselves to be is a raving fan. 
Raving fans, believe it or not guys, is what's gonna max out your business center. One of our philosophies when it comes to building a successful company is you wanna teach a lot of people how to do just a little bit. It's the raving fans that build massive brands across the world, no matter what it is. It's raving fans. Or they're gonna find themselves being in the third category, which is really a partner, someone that's here to build. So pay close attention, and we're gonna show you how you're gonna identify one of those three people with some of the language we use and some of the qualifiers and things along those lines. So go for okay. it. So there's a very perfect opportunity in the conversation to have this. And what I found is that it's between the time that you make a recommendation for how they can get started, they tell you which pack makes the most sense for them, it's between then and the time that you actually ask for the order. So let's just say you were to share with them two packs, 30 day system and a, and a, and a value pack, and they decide that they wanna get the value pack, okay? I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna present them the two packs, I'm gonna ask them which sounds like the best fit for you. They say, you know what, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right, the value pack sounds great. I'm gonna say great choice. And hey, curiously, who are two people that you know would for sure wanna do this with you? Now notice how simple that is. Notice how there's nothing weird about it. Notice it's the same way that you would ask a friend of yours, hey, I heard about this great movie, right? There's this new Tom Hanks film that's come out. Eden says, oh, I'd love to go. Hey, curiously, who are two of your friends that you know for sure would want to come with us? Okay. Who are two of your friends that you know for sure would want to come with us? So we're going to role play this for you. Okay, so let's say Zach's the prospect. I'm talking with him. He's decided he wants to get the premium pack, or excuse me, premium pack. I've been doing a lot of UK training, the value pack. <laughs> and I'm going to say, hey, cur that's awesome, Zach. Great choice. And curiously, who are two people that you know would want to do this with you for sure? Um, my friend Michelle and my brother Adam. Michelle and Adam. Okay, awesome. Well, the reason I ask is because Isagenix doesn't spend any money in advertising and instead rewards its customers for our referrals. So if you were to get Michelle or when you were, when you would if you were to get Michelle and Adam started on, let's say, the same pack you're getting, you would earn $370 back right away. How awesome is that? That's amazing. Sweet. So um, where would you like your box shipped? That's it. That's right it. into the order. Now, we're going to find out very quickly. Here's where the qualifying comes in. So you want to break this down? Yep. Okay. So... Notice her language, right? And I want you guys to understand, because if you understand the psychology of something and you understand the philosophy of something, then you're more likely to implement it. So we really want you to get this, right? So she says, when your two friends get started on the same system that you do, when Michelle and Adam, she repeats back their name, so that I'm hearing their name, I'm seeing their faces, you're gonna earn back $370 cash back right away. How awesome is that? Now, there are three types of people, three types of people. Type number one is your customer. Your customer is gonna say, that's, that's cool, that's cool, but I really, I, you know, I, I kinda wanna just do this for me, that's not really my thing. Um, I really, this, this is really, I just, I just really wanna do this for me. No worries. Yeah, no worries, I can totally appreciate that. Let me ask you a question, Zach. If we were, and we're gonna speak before then, but let's say I were to follow up with you about five days into the system. If you're feeling incredible, or when you're feeling incredible, might we have another conversation about sharing with Adam and Michelle? Sure, maybe. But I mean, again, I really just want this to be my thing. No worries. I'm fine. Yeah, no worries at all. Now, you have your, now, what, now what's going to happen, you have the second type of person. The second type of person goes, you know, that's awesome, um, but I, I, I kind of want to see how the products work for, for me first. Cool. Here's how the, this is the raving fan. This is the raving fan. So I'm gonna, let's, re let's roll reverse real quickly. I'm gonna call Eden on day five, and Eden's two people were Adam and Michelle. And I say, Eden, how are you feeling? What are you noticing? I'm feeling amazing, I have so much energy, I'm sleeping better, I feel awesome, I love it. Do you notice your clothes are fitting more loosely, anything like that? Totally, my clothes are fitting loosely, I just, I, I'm so happy, thank you so much for sharing this with me. Watch this guys, Eden, do you think that Adam and your girlfriend Michelle would want to be sleeping better at night, have more energy, and feel like their clothes are fitting a little bit more loosely after just five days? I uh, probably, yeah. Okay. Raving fan is now triggered. Because what we've done is we've removed in her mind the idea of making money off of Adam and Michelle and now making money with Adam and Michelle because now in Eden's mind, she's just helping them. She's helping them. Now, person number three on the original, do you wanna to add to that? Well, yeah, and 
the type of person that's gonna wanna wait to get results first. Now I've had an experience, I know that it's real, I feel really good, I'm not just taking somebody else's word for it, and day five, you don't have to wait till 30 days. You don't have to wait till they, you know, take their final measurements or whatever. By day five, there's enough evidence, enough proof, enough excitement, enough passion, enough enthusiasm for somebody to be willing to share it. And so Zach is going to circle back with me so that I don't just start kind of running my mouth without knowing any type of systems to plug people into or videos or groups or whatever. He's going to come back to to kind of test the waters with me and see if I'm open now and also as a way to specifically guide me when it comes to sharing with people. Now we promised you a third person in the qualifications and the third person goes like this. So Eden, because Isogenics doesn't spend any money on advertising and instead it rewards its customers referrals, when Michelle and Adam get started on the same system you do, you're gonna earn $370 cash back right away. How, how awesome is that? What might you say? Um, that sounds amazing. I mean, I can think of a bunch more people that would like it. What would happen when I share it with them? Business partner, money motivated. Simple. We've just taken somebody who reached out to us as a product user, only interested in the products, and we just found out very quickly one of three categories that they are most likely going to fall into. That's it. That's our bread and butter. So what happens, guys, is that we, do a, we plant the seed so that no one's ever caught off guard about the reality that there's an income possibility for somebody, that there's an income possibility. Now, with the raving fan on day five, now you can open them up a little bit. You can open them up a little bit and say, hey, listen, let me ask you a question. Who else is noticing your results? Mm -hmm. Who, how many other people can you think of right now that would love to feel better at night, sleep or sleep better at night, have more energy and have their clothes fit a little bit more loosely after just five days? How many people can you think of? Who do you know? Oh my God, I know a ton of people. Do you think your Facebook friends would want to hear about that? Yeah. Hey, listen, if we can turn you on to a little copy and paste, very simple Facebook post that you don't even have to write yourself, you can just post on Facebook and then we can even teach you what to say to help them get started? Is that something you'd want to learn more about? Yes. Let me ask you a question, Eden. How much additional income, watch guys, this is huge. This is huge. Eden, how much additional income would make a radical difference in your life right now? Um, I mean, anything really would help. A dollar? Mm, like 500 to $1,000 would be amazing. Okay, what would the additional $500 to $1,000 a month allow you to do that you can't do right now? Allow me to take some days off. Okay, what else might it allow you to do? Um, pay off some credit card debt. Okay, that, that sounds like it'd be great. Okay, what about on like the fun side of things? What, what might you be able to do with an extra $500 to $1,000 a month? Um, I'd love to take a vacation. Where would you go? Um, I'd pretty much go anywhere. Anywhere? I'd like to go to Hawaii. I'd l I've always wanted to go to over to Indonesia. Oh man, Bali's amazing. In fact, my wife and I were able to spend a whole month there. A whole month. How? Because of isogenics. Okay, you gotta fill me in. Okay, why don't we do this? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you a video and it explains how this whole thing works. But between you and I, this is, this is more than just shakes. This is really an opportunity that you can do something with. So paying off your debt, having more vacation days, going to Indonesia, going to Hawaii, these are things that are all possible. And it all comes down to simply sharing something that you already know works with people that are looking for the solu same solution that you were looking for the day you and I connected. That's awesome, I'm in. Thank you so much for telling me about it. Here we go, and we're off to the races, guys. And this is how the conversations go. And it is impossible for him to have that conversation with me if he hadn't planted the seed in the very first conversation. There's no context. I think he's nutty. So anyways, guys. What time is it? It's, uh, it's close. It's, it's close. It's close. But that's, this, that's the biggest thing. If you can take away anything, it's that they share happens in that first conversation. Just like it takes five to 20 or whatever it is, actual exposures for a prospect to get started, it might take five to 20 exposures to what's available in the opportunity for somebody to really wake up and see that it's for them and it has to happen from day one. It has to, it's the easiest to happen in that initial conversation. And curiously, who are two people that you know would for sure wanna do this?
this with you. And that's when they share starts because they're already in their minds sharing with those people. It's happened. And remember, the mind can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So when they say, when Eden says, I would share with Michelle and I would share with Adam, it's already done. It's happened. She's done it. She sees herself sitting down with Michelle and sharing this with Michelle. She sees herself texting her friend Adam and letting him know about this. It's already done. It's already done. And you might have some people, when you ask them, curiously, who are two people that you know would for sure want to do this with you, you'll occasionally have the person that says, I don't really know anyone. And they might not be who you're looking for in this business. It's just, it, it's a potential early indication. They might end just up- just a qualifier. It's just a qualifier. Totally fine. Totally fine. Because we love our customers. This isn't a pushy thing. This is about opening up a door and giving them an opportunity to say yay or nay, yep. to ask more questions. And that gives you a lot of information about them. Yeah, so we wanna be super mindful of your guys' time. Otherwise, we'd stay on here all night long. Um, but guys, master the basics of the conversation. Be willing to ask, be willing to ask. Right, Because it's in the asking that people are gonna find their own answers. And that's really the magic. That's the magic. You don't wanna be telling people how to do something. You wanna tell them what's available. You wanna ask them so they can discover it for themselves. And that's the difference between closing somebody on something and enrolling them into something. You know, a lot of people talk about painting the vision, painting the vision. We don't paint the vision. We just hand them the brush and the canvas. And then we ask them some questions and they start moving and they start stroking the canvas. And think about the duplication that happens for somebody who gets started this way. If Zach asks me on my very first call, who are two people that I know would for sure want to do it with me, then now I know that it's part of the process that when I start doing three-way calls for my team, I'm going to ask it also. It's an inherent part of the conversation and it's really casual and it's, it's, just, it's just a part of it. Why wouldn't I ask that of somebody? And so we'll leave you with this. Guys, mastery is about practice. And you gotta be willing to practice. And you gotta be willing to be bad enough, long enough until you get good. But hopefully you can take away from this recording, we're gonna invite you to come back and watch it over and over and over again, is be willing to practice. Be willing to fail your way to freedom. Be willing to look bad. Be willing to make it sound, be willing to, be willing to, 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 to muck it up. There's nothing wrong with that. I wish I had a documentary crew following me around when I first started in network marketing. So you guys could all understand that it's a growth process for all of us. Mm -hmm. And just like any sport, any skill, any hobby that you wanna get great at, you just gotta practice it. And the greatest feedback you will ever get will come from your mistakes, will come from your, from your mistakes. So fail your way to freedom because the journey is really worth it. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, I just want to thank David and Angelique for putting totally. this together and doing such an incredible service and investing so much time to serve so many people in the community. Thank you guys. We love you. And thank you for um, honoring us with um, featuring us on this art encore. And uh, thank you to all the other trainers who are investing their time to support the growth of, of the whole one team. So thank you guys. So we're out. We love you guys. Thanks. Bye guys. Bye.